More and more urban communities are offering the option for residents to raise chickens, but that also probably leads to quite a few questions as some non-farmers are looking to invest in this sort of thing. Lisbon Versi is here with a great way for people to learn more. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Elaine. Um, so this meeting is great for anybody who is maybe thinking about starting their own little flock, um, especially people in the urban communities. I typically get a lot of questions about that. Um, and there are some, you know, state regulations, there may be some local ordinances. So this meeting is really great for people to learn more about what they should plan for before they start their flock. Um, and it's great also for anybody that does have a flock, but maybe they're having some issues. We will be going into an hour long session of some common troubleshooting issues and, and how, to, um, how to deal with them. And I'm really excited. We have our state poultry specialist, Ron Keen from UW-Madison will be coming to be our, our speaker. Let's talk about the growing interest in this. Sure, I mean, there's just a lot of people that, you know, they want to start growing their own food. Mm -hmm. And so that may include um, egg production. It could also include meat production. But people with them liking to know where their food came from um, and having, I guess, more control over that um, is exciting. And especially if you can have maybe a, a few chickens in your backyard, it's also a great way that maybe your kids can learn some, um, you know, uh, you know, have some tasks and um, you know learn about responsibility and caretaking of animals and that just seems to be kind of like a fun family um, type of activity as well. Is this a chance to make sure that you are following your community's rules as well because I know some allow for free range and roaming chickens some need them in a coop environment it's important to do that homework. Correct I mean even just am I allowed to have backyard chickens because there could be ordinances um, where that don't allow chickens or there may be a restriction on the number of mm -hmm. poultry you can have in your backyard and whatnot, so it, it will be important to learn about that, and we'll have resources to help people navigate that. What about someone who is currently farming and says, you know, maybe we should add a few chickens. Is this an opportunity for them as well to ask those questions mm -hmm. in an environment where, you know, people aren't going to say, come on, you, you don't know what grandma <laughs> did with your chickens? Well, maybe it's been a few generations, right? Absolutely. I mean, whether a farming family would like to start raising their own chickens for yeah. just their own food production, or maybe they want to start diversifying yeah. um, and go that route and have, a, you know, another enterprise that they're looking into, that this certainly would be a very welcome environment that we're not going to be judging anybody sure. on what they know or they don't know. And is this a revenue stream that people have found? Certainly probably not multi-million dollars, but there's consumers that don't have the option to have their own chickens and they're probably looking for that local source as well. Sure, yep. So there are definitely farmers out there or other, you know, non-farmers that are using this as maybe some extra spending money. Like yeah. you said, it's not, pro you know, don't quit your day job yeah. or anything, <laughs> um, but this could be, you know, a fun way to generate some revenue. Um, you know, I talked with a, a chicken um, grower that, you know, that was kind of like the kids' college fund, sure. or you know, some creative ways to you know generate a little bit more cash. It's the perfect way to start learning about responsibilities. I know mm -hmm. our kids already help feed the chickens at mm -hmm. our place, so a great family activity. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking to sign up, we're going to have a link to registration on our website, wearegreenbay.com. Just click on Midwest Farm Weekly. Thanks for being here, Liz. Thank you.